mouth. From the barrages we pad the dunes, crunch underfoot cockles on ancient middens through tea tree towards a distant roar. Rollers dumping and foaming. Salt spray soft focusing the scene so only the centre where you stand is sharp, the edges shrouded. A permapine line of pickets stakes a fort to keep the four-wheel drives beyond the pale. A world of white and shades of grey on this overcast day. Walk towards the River Murray mouth and see no one else in three hours, swallowed as sand grains in the vastness. Beach sand crabs, chalk bone of cuttlefish soaked in its own ink, kelp, oyster shells worn to blackness and flat smooth palm sized stones for skinning, all in muted monochrome. Then, the detritus of colour. Shreds of poly rope in fluoro orange, blue, green. A man-made gaudiness of excess. Lids from shampoo bottles. A rubber ball. Trash from passing ships. The disposable. Always the rumbling roar of wind and sea. mouth, the wasteland. A string of orange pennants to mark soft edges. Expanse of sameness. A desert of bulldozed sand, homogenous, devoid of weed, pebbles, shells, ripples. Spin effects flashing curved needles of light in the wind. Serpent of the dredge pipe, snaking over the dunes. The pipe snake shudders and heaves, throbs and pulses. Press an ear to the peristalsis, and it whispers the word silk as black sludge passes through itself. At the end, the snake regurgitates black bilge and spews it swirling to the southern ocean, eroding away the last dune, the new mouth of the mighty Murray, renamed Discharge Location A.